All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, May 7th. We got two NBA playoff games on today's slate. We're splitting up those two games into two separate videos on the channel. We already posted our Celtics and Cavs game one video. So in this video, we're going to be going through game number one between the OKC Thunder and the Dallas Mavericks here. I'm going to give you my lean on the spread. I'll give you my lean on the total. I'll talk about any of the player props. We like two of them as of right now within this game as well. But as always, guys, keep an eye on the pinned comments. That is where all of my final plays, so I'm actually rolling with myself, all of my final plays will live. In terms of last night, we swept in the Knicks and the Pacers uh, game, and you're like, yeah, let's go. We pretty much gave it right back in the Nuggets and the Timberwolves game, so nothing to write home about. Um, that Nuggets and Timberwolves, we, we've been off in the first couple games there, uh, unfortunately. I don't know what the Nuggets are doing. No go bear, and they're still struggling, so that is that is tough to see, uh, but we'll talk about that game uh, in game number three, that video, so uh, we'll cross our bridge when we get there. Our ride of the day, I'm not going to drop the womp womp because we already dropped it in the previous video, but Jaden McDaniels has not come through for Joey here, guys. Make sure to use that hashtag ride of the day in the comments i'm going to jump on board with one person's pick giving you a shout out in the next video win or loss also shouting you out over on my twitter at fguyboston all my socials rotating right around here throughout the show but uh yeah let's go ahead and jump into this game right now oklahoma city after sweeping the pelicans are sitting as three and a half point favorites at home the total sitting at 218 I like the over. Now, I keep telling you, and I don't, I sound like a broken record. We've been hitting them. We've also been losing a few of them. Uh, I continue to look at these games and say, uh, I like the over. And if you look at these two teams, this year, they had a 126 to 120 game, a 146 to 111 game, a 126 to 119 game, and a 135 to 186 uh, to 86 game during the regular season. So they had plenty of games, four games total, I believe that was, uh, that went way over this number. I know that this is playoff basketball, and I totally understand that but uh this is a oklahoma city team and i believe they played in the last game of the year and that was the the um 135 to 86 game um but okc scored 100 plus in two games against the pelicans who i would say much better defense uh than the Cavs, even though the cat excuse me the mavs even though the mavs are playing you know, decent defense in this playoff run, uh, you know, against the, the clips here, 109, 93, 90, 116, 93, 101 in terms of points against. But we can also admit that the Clippers offense went stale at different times, right? Uh, so there's that to be said. But either way, I do think this turns into less of a defensive game and more of a slight run and gun game. And it doesn't even have to be that crazy. Like, give me a floor of 110 per team and you're looking at a 220 game. So at least for, you know, game number one, before they feel each other out defensively and whatnot, this is a spot in which I consider the over 218. Um, in terms of a spread pick, I was impressed by OK. I mean, I was impressed by OKC all year long, right? Um, but in that series against the Pelicans, like, other than game number one, in which obviously it was a, a close game. Uh, this is a, a team that kind of said, hey, this is our seed. We're the number, our, our uh, series, we're the number one seed, uh, so on and so forth. And I, they didn't really look back. So I give them a little bit of credit here. Dallas looks like Lucas banged up a little bit too. Maxi Kleba's out. I think this is an OKC at least game number one um, and probably series overall, but we're not doing a series prediction here. We're taking it game by game. So give me OKC minus the three and a half points. Now, in terms of player props, let's jump into um, actually before we even jump into the player props, I do want to shout out the fact that sleeper has a great deal going on right now for a play in this game. Luca, if you're if Luca 0.5 points, if you're not signed up new user offer to all new users, Luca 0.5 points for square. You can see that over on the right side of your screen. Uh, Sleeper's also going to double your first deposit. It's a player prop app. You combine two or more player props into your slip. The more you get right, the more you get paid out. Super simple, super easy to use, and a great interface. So go check it out, guys. Um, it's on It's on mobile. And you, like I said, first deposit matched and that Luca Square with the link in the pinned comment. That link's also in the description. Go check out Sleeper. You will not regret it. But jumping into player props here, I, I got to turn my eye to Kyrie Irving. He, he's had a really good, I guess, stretch against this Thunder team in, in the two games uh, this year. But, you know, I'm looking at his assists at four and a half, averaging 16 potential assists in these two games against the Thunder. Last 20 games, averaging 10 potential assists. You get into the playoffs, it starts to creep down a little bit, but still not terribly. Last five games here, eight, 10, 10, eight, nine potential assists. Uh, so I do like his chances here. Um, Oklahoma City against shooting guards, allowing the fifth most assists to 
two opposing players. And like I mentioned, I don't mind him in multiple players. His points, rebounds, and assists, I don't mind either. I think we stick to assists in this spot, though. Uh, I wanted to consider his, his threes, but it's super, super juice. You can get it on prize picks, um, probably as a green goblin, but the rest of it's super, super juice. So play number one is going to be Kyrie Irving here, over four and a half assists potentially looking at other ways, points plus assists or PRA, that type of thing. But I'll update you in the pinned comment. And then play number two. We faded this dude pretty much all last series, and now we're on his side. Daniel Gafford over eight and a half points. Also, don't mind. I don't mind. I don't love it as much. His over 14 and a half points plus rebounds. But back to his points here, you could see on the season, he hit this in 64% of games. Head to head, he had 19 in both games with the... the Dallas against OKC but what I like is the fact that okay last 10 games he's playing 18.8 minutes uh last five starting to get a few more minutes right 20 26 19 19 23 so if we say okay on the year hell just give us 20 minutes Gafford right 20 minutes he's hitting at a 78 percent clip here uh if we want to say without Maxi Kleba 73% of games. Uh, playing 20 minutes without Maxi Klee, but it gets even better. 79. It's like, this is a spot in which he should get some run. Um, it's not like the Thunder are all that great against big men or anything like that. So, uh, Daniel Gafford over 8.5 points is where my mind goes immediately. Um, but I don't mind potentially taking a peek at his PRA or his points plus rebounds either. I just like his points a little bit more. I wish it was 7.5 because essentially the way he plays, this is going to require 10 points because uh, he's not going to make a three or anything like that so um in terms of odds for seven and a half minus 180 a little bit too juiced but yeah daniel gafford over in points is going to be player prop number two and pretty quick video i like the thunder i like the over i like Kyrie's assists and i like daniel gafford's points in this spot if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well you've been super super supportive as of late i say that in like all my videos but uh, i know it sounds like i'm beating a dead horse but this horse is very much alive and you guys are absolutely making my day and making my year each and every day so uh, appreciate all of the support guys uh, and let's go cash on bets today i mean Obviously, in game one of series, like, it's not always the easiest to judge, which is why I like the over in this game, because it's like, even the two teams don't know exactly how to shut down Luke, or shut down Kyrie, or shut down SGA, you know? Uh, so we should see some scoring that we might not see in game four or five, or that type of thing. But nonetheless, guys, I'm rambling at this point. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well, and we'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.